Hey there, this is Needs Beardfoot, and today we are making these dragon bracers. As always, I recommend making a rough paper or cupboard model like this just to get the size right. For cutting everything out, a laser comes in really handy, especially for these little outcuts, but cutting it out by hand is working as well. These little outcuts are designed that a half inch oblong punch works just perfectly to get all the edges out. Alternatively, obviously, you can use also a knife and some round hole punches. Next, we want to bevel all the edges that will be later on exposed. For this piece, on the flesh side, it will be all the edges. After this, we want to trace a parallel line for the sewing holes and on the edge. Now for our tooling, we want to moisten everything completely from both sides and let it set for a half an hour at least. I use some very standard punches to get in some texture and depth into the pieces. Note also that what the laser here on engraving did for me is basically what a swivel knife usually would do. Lately I made some tests using a laser to cut my own stems from acrylic glass and this is where I use one. For the dye I use an airbrush, just applying a base coat of red and then going along the edges with a dark brown. To give it a little bit more depth I apply an antique gel. As a finisher I apply a coat of resist. To attach the bracer to your arm I put in some loops. I rough up the area for gluing. Be sure to in advance mark where to rough it up and then apply contact cement. When you're applying contact cement and dyes, be sure you're wearing protective gear and make sure you got good ventilation. Now you can punch all the holes from the top piece down through the bottom piece and set some rivets. For the weaving I use some 4 to 5 mm thick rope and I weave it through the pieces up and down just like shown. Note that when you come onto the edge at an angle, like shown here, you will have three holes and the center hole will be used twice. And when you went through a whole row forward and backwards, just proceed with the next one. The ends of the rope can be melted, knotted and weaved through the other pieces to secure them.
Now we can put on the other two pieces, mark their position, rough up the leather and glue them on. But wait, there's something I forgot. I wanted to make it a 3D dragon. So we have to go back again. For 3D modeling, I got a known video on the top right corner you can watch. What we need basically is a shape of, in this case, the dragon in multiple layers, always getting a little bit smaller. Then we glue them together and start shaping them. Any tool like beveler, knives and scaver are really useful here. You want to form the shape that the dragon should have in the end. So what we're doing is making the piece for underneath and then thinning out the top leather from the flesh side, moisten it and shape around it. When we're satisfied with the shape and the leather is still moist, we use contact cement to glue it on. In this case, you want to glue it on already a little bit bended in the shape that the bracer later on will have. And then use a beveler to get in a little more depth along the edges of the dragon. Note that usually I do this before I apply any kind of dye. So now we're going back to the original plan and gluing the pieces together. Carefully put everything in position before you press it on completely. And note that I glue it on already in this partly bent shape. Next we want to use an awl to cut all the already punched sewing holes all the way through and sew them. Now when everything is secured together we're taking care of the edges. Cut away all the excess, sandpaper it, bevel it, re-dye it and burnish it. Now we are almost completely finished, but we want to moisten the bracer completely from both sides. It should be soaking wet. Let it dry for a few hours and then start shaping. You want to shape it to fit your arm, but you also want to push out all these little cross sections from the inside out to give it a more 3D-ish and crazy look. Put in a leather strap to keep the bracer attached to your arm and just let it dry this way. As nice little finish, you can use some 400 grit sandpaper to get rid of some of the paint on the high cross sections, just to give it a more rustic look. And this is it. I hope you like them. I actually wasn't completely sure until the very end when I saw how they came out, if I would like them, but now I really do. So. Leave a like and a comment and note that this pattern as well as all the others you can find in my Etsy store, link down below. See you guys next time. Have a great day!